Hi guys, my name is Anthony and this is Crypto for You. Today I'm talking about on the what is going on in one year chart with Bitcoin. So first things first, Bitcoin is actually going on a tunnel in the middle of a tunnel of support and resistance. Second, there is actually a death cross, so Bitcoin might be actually falling. Hi guys, welcome back. Today, the first things I want to tell you is about the death cross that's going on. I know it's sad that there's a death cross and even though things are looking good, Good, uh, looking good. I actually did forget about the bear cross that it was going on. So before, so let me show you what happened last time when it went on the bear cross. So there's actually only been six death cross. I, I keep saying bear cross. Well, bear cross, death cross. Well, there's only been six death cross in the history of Bitcoin. So if we go down here, ignore that. That's ignore that and let's see this so every time there was a big bear cross bitcoin went up a little but then it crashed so in 2015 that happened then we did not have a bear cross for a long time but when we did right here bitcoin crashed but it, w it went it crashed but it went up a little like it regained its strength and we were like yay let's invest let's get all our money back let's put it all in and then as they do that it just crashes like crazy and they're like we lost our money but when but when it becomes a golden cross that's like a bull cross that means when the 20 day moving average goes on top of the below i mean the 20 the 20 day moving average so the 200 day moving average goes below the 20 day moving average that's called a golden cross everything's black and flipped in its order red is underneath the green the the how is it called the stop lights back in order and so we're starting to go up but every time it crashes crashes the 20 the 200 day moving average goes on top of it and it's like it's flipped so everybody doesn't know what to do and so at first when here in 2019 October when it became a bear cross is things see looks good things look good and it just crawled up like crazy and people invested the same thing from 2015 right now here happened and 2017 well so let me show you guys let me show you guys what I think what's happened here so when it when the a bear cross became what when a bear cross happened Bitcoin fell a little and but well actually not a little from eight thousand so it fell a thousand dollars but then it came to three two thousand dollars but then it fell three thousand dollars and then finally tried to regain its strength and it became a golden cross so right now what's happening is the same thing we crashed and while we were crashing it, it was a death cross so we're now regaining our strength so will bitcoin follow that pattern and do the same thing again like i think so even though there is a trend trend line even though there is a trend line right here and everything i everybody thinks is just gonna be doing that i think because of the school i went to and they used the golden cross and death cross that if so right so right now the dual the death cross means so it goes up but then it's gonna crash and i think it's gonna go to if it crashes below this trend line it's most likely gonna go to either four thousand four hundred or three thousand 3,326 or most likely 3,500 because that's where it was the most the 3,500 level but I already told you about the golden cross so let me talk about what Bitcoin is in stage right now so as you can see here on the one year chart if we go and see Bitcoin is stuck in the middle of that place between this resistance I mean the support of 6,420 and the resistance of 6,800. So it's in the middle of that four year, four, four, four dollar space. It's a little cramp for it. So you can see if we go to the one one month, we go even to even a little better chart. Let's look at this. Let me get myself out of the way for now. So Bitcoin is. Try is as soon as it get in. This is what I was worrying about. 
So I was talking about how if Bitcoin goes in, well, actually I was talking about this. So I wanted it to punch through like this. So it kept going, rising, and just punch through because there's lots of support and resistance in the middle of um, between inside of here and there's also some in here. So, so Bitcoin got stuck inside of this strong resistance and this strong support. So now we're going to be watching what's happening. Bitcoin is actually below the 20 day moving average right now. So, so I'm going to be so right now it's actually rising above above the 20 day moving average right now. Something's glitching around and I'm just updating right now. So it's a it's starting to rise above the 20 day moving average and that's really significant. I call it significant the 20 day moving average here. So So, um, I think that Bitcoin might fall, and I'm going to fix this trend a little, and make it look good, so everybody can see everything. So, the trend line has not been broken yet, but it has not touched it yet. So, I think we're going to be testing it in about the, the March 26th, that's tomorrow, I think we're going to start testing this trend line tomorrow and so this is going to be a really critical level so right here because of the three things the 20 day moving average is actually going to the spot the the how is it called the trend line is go is in the same spot as this support so this is a really good level this is a this is the thing is going to test it right there and if it goes above it then I'm then I'm going to sure I'm gonna be sure that this is a really strong support and resistance because there's so much time to try to break above it. One, two, let's see. Then it broke above it, testing it here. One, once, then one, two, three, four. Let's th five, six, seventh, then finally broke above it. So, and let me see how much time it tried to test it. One time tested it, two times tested it, three times tested it now. So it tested it seven times and it was following as you can see the 20 day moving average so i think this is a really safe zone for the next day bitcoin is not going to be going that much anywhere but after that so the mouth is opening still but it's starting to close here so there might be a little trend reversal so the mouth when it opens we start either going up or above below so it's good that it's we're above the 20 day moving average so that's really good and i think guys that's it thanks for um, thanks for watching my little short video today hope you guys enjoyed it see you guys tomorrow bye